morning I'm just doing an, a little drawing I'm here at Marchmont House um, in the borders staying in an artist pod which is a really lovely little kind of cylindrical kind of cabin um, and I've got my own um, decking out at the front here and there's a lovely old tree right outside the French doors here I don't know if they're called French doors you know the two doors that open out I'll try and show you um, and I decided this morning to do a little drawing of that you know a drawing of my non-dominant hand often gets me um, you know it, it feels like a direct line to something true rather than to be anyway it was just a nice thing to do to settle me I'm going to show you the tree if I can that's the one I'm drawing there and it's on the table here so I thought I would just um, just done a, a wee bit of yoga and that was my stool I had a candle on um, oh, I'm working with my left hand now so I suppose it means that maybe when I'm drawing you won't be able to really see however it was just to kind of include you in in this um, little maybe a ritual that I'm going to um, have while I'm here of beginning the day with some kind of a drawing um, it does feel good medicine you know to to slow um, you know to see so I'm just following the contours of the branches best I can and as you can see finding and refinding over and over the relationship between branches and the shape that they make of the pieces of sky through them. Each every single branch has a kind of a character that's all its own. It feels lovely. It feels lovely to just be quietly kind of with the tree, I suppose, in a way, like curious as to what's going on there. Like, so, yeah, I think I, I feel like when when the the purpose of doing it is to find um that attentive place rather than want to make um, a great picture or something. It feels like a gentler way in, you know, just um, wanting that, that to, to um, I'll go to the other side here now, wanting to find um, or to, to rest into that kind of attentive place that feels soothing rather than making an, an outcome that's a masterpiece or something, you know the way. And then you can kind of just freely draw what you see without any pressure. So today I'm going to empty my things out of the car into the studio that I have here. It's an old squash court, so it's really um, spacious and there's a viewing gallery, which is kind of exciting. I might draw from the viewing gallery actually when I think about it. And I think Helena, my friend and model Helena, who lives not too far from here, is maybe going to come and model for me here sometimes in one of her incredible costumes.
And then I thought it would be a lovely thing to, to find my way around here, like to go for a meander and just see all the different paths and things that I can familiarise myself with over the time that I'm here. I'm here until the end of February. Um, and, you know, the, it's fairly vast, really, the land here. Got a bit lost there now, where was I? Oh, yeah, I was following this branch up. And I have to see where it may link in with this one. Let's see. It's like sometimes a wee bit like jigsaw pieces fitting into each other. Or not, as the case may be. <laughs> and that same kind of confusion as to how come this isn't fitting? And I'm trying to find one that will fit. So it's gener generally, generally what I'm feeling here is, as my friend would say, joyful anticipation. That's, that's mostly my feeling and I'm glad of that. Feel like I can rest into my own rhythm and flow and just just do do what feels right in the moment. There's a bit of a pressure to that, isn't there? Like you feel like you should know in every moment what feels right. But just the next step, like that's all. And the next step here is trying to find the line that'll represent this long, slender branch heading off there. There we are. And then there's this one that's kind of truncated somehow. I think there was a lot of trees blown down last year. Um, and the storms, but they, they have a very, I think it sounds like they have got a very um, experienced little task force here looking after the place, the gardens and you know this wonderful furniture furniture making studio and in the artist's um, common room there's a very beautiful table made by a couple of guys um, the furniture makers here who um, made a replica of one that was in the grand house it's a very beautiful long oak table. I think it's oak. What am I doing now? Yeah, the jigsaw pieces are kind of, with a little bit of a squeeze, they're fitting together <laughs> fairly well. Like really I'm not sure what will be the main focus of my work here. And. And that, you know, while it can be a little bit edgy, I'm glad of it actually, because I, I kind of want to, to come to it not knowing really. But of course, having a little bit of order is helpful. And so I have plans today to do, to do a, a painting this afternoon or a drawing of some sort. Um, in the studio, but we'll see. I don't know now if that's what's going to happen, but I'm going to do uh, set myself up in there anyway and see if um, if there's anything in the pile of work that I bought with me that I can work on, just simply to actually begin working in the space, you know. So I think that would be a good idea. Um, There's quite a lot of little twigs now that are not, not really been, they haven't been drawn down yet, all these tiny little squiggly ones in between. I forgot my microphone at home. so. I'm just hoping because it's so quiet here that maybe you can still hear me well enough. What an amazing 
this but this is still like it would make such an inspiring thing you know that I've made this dedicated space for crafts people and artists to come have time out of a regular daily life and an intention to create new work or just to have space to make whatever it is Feels like a very generous thing. I'm glad I'm out of the way. And of course there'll be um, an exhibition at the end at Borders Art Fair. And there's going to be a, a, a wall space of, that I can fill with the work that I make here. Um, and anything else, you know, that I end up finishing off while I'm here. Rather than but I'm sure I'll have plenty. We'll see. I don't want to. I don't want to pox myself, jinx myself now by saying, "Yeah, I fill the walls, no bother." We'll see what happens. This is day one, like, and you can never really tell. But um, I feel like my main job really is to show up, show up, and just be available. And to, and to actually pick up the materials and make make something every day. That's the plan. That's the extent of the plan. And I can cook and eat real well. I made myself a lovely vegetable soup yesterday here after arriving and settling in. There was a lot of organising. I kind of bought loads of bags with me. That's mostly how I've packed is just big carrier bags and that's what's going to be going in with all the paints now into the studio or, um, or just in big um, shopping bags but I'll be grand once I settle in what am I doing here now? I don't have enough for any more I think I might be done for now you know it's really just the teensy branches that I've um that one goes down there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I think I'm going to stop there. They're the upper reaches of the tree. The branches that are up at the top on the left there. And um, there it is. This is. Thanks for joining me. And I'll maybe see you tomorrow. I don't want to set myself up, but I might do something every every day. So it'll be good to see you. Thanks. Bye.